new on Live at Daybreak, a congressman from Southeast Wisconsin who just had the opportunity to discuss important issues facing one of America's closest allies, Israel. U.S. Representative Brian Stahl joins us live this morning to talk about the importance of his recent trip. And Congressman Stahl joins us live this morning. And Congressman, thanks so much for being with us this morning. Thanks for having me on. Before we get to the heart of your trip, let's talk a little bit about the controversy that led up to it where two of your Democratic colleagues were not allowed to make the trip to Israel. Uh, one was later allowed access, but then decided not to go. Um, what was it, What is your take on that controversy? All freshman members, uh, Democrats and Republicans, were invited uh, to attend the program. Uh, some chose not to. That's their decision. I thought it was important to go to see firsthand, in particular, the unique security situation uh, that Israel finds itself in. Uh, it's a decision for each member as to whether or not they want to go. I thought it was important to go. Over 70 uh, members, Democrats and Republicans, uh, chose that it was important for them to see firsthand uh, the unique situation that Israel finds itself in. Congressman, as you're making your way around the first congressional, then in, in, talking to people who live here, it seems like a far away place and unless you're personally invested in some way in, in Israel or, or those issues, what is the, the message that you give to, to voters and people who live here about why this matters to them? If you think about, we don't have a better ally in the Middle East than Israel. It's a democracy. They hold many of the same values that we hold uh, about openness and democracy. Um, and then they have a really unique uh, security environment. And so I had the opportunity to go up onto the Golan Heights. You stand right on the border with Syria. And you can see Syria across. You can see the military positions that used to be traditional military positions, now often held by Hezbollah or other terrorist uh, entities that are on the Israeli border. I think that's important to see firsthand, to have the conversations with Israel, uh, to have their conversations with their key military leaders about the unique security situation they find themselves in and how we, uh, as the United States of America, can support our ally. And we're sharing some of the pictures that you shared with us of that important trip. Um, as you made your way around and met with some of the leaders of Israel on your trip, what were some of the concerns you brought to them or questions that you asked on behalf of the people in your district? You know, I think it's, we're, we're sending a lot of funding from the United States uh, for the security and defense of Israel. How's that being spent? Uh, some of the, um, one of the key issues is the, what they call the Iron Dome, which is effectively missile to missile defense. So if a rocket is launched uh, towards Israel, they're able to shoot it out of the sky before it causes damage. That technology is shared back with the United States as a joint effort, if you will. How is that being used? Where's the technology today? And where does it need to be in the future to keep both Israel safe, but ultimately uh, democracies around the globe? Congressman Brian Stile from Wisconsin's 1st Congressional District. We just barely scratched the surface, but yeah. we do appreciate you coming in this morning. Thanks for having me on. All right, we're back right after this.